How's it going guys, Lead Cypher here. In this video we will attempt to solve the state from Volant Hub, which was a hack the box machine before it was uploaded to Volant Hub. It's an easy to intermediate machine, doesn't have any some sort of rabbit holes or anything like that. Now let's get started. We start with the discover to get the IP address of the machine. And it's running on 192.168.111. Then we proceed with MMAP scan. Dash SS for DCP sense scan, dash A for aggressive scan, dash B dash to scan all ports, dash ON for normal output to a file called a map scan. And here we have five ports open, and it looks like this machine is running James Mail Service. James stands for Java P Apache Mail Enterprise Server. Essentially, it's a SMTP server that is used to send and receive emails. There is a remote administration tool for the servers running on port 4555 by default. This tool is used to manage users and you can read received emails by logging into the servers on port 110. Now let's connect with Netcat to remote administration tool to list all users there. ID and password are root by default. Help to list commands. Let's list all users here with list users. Great. Now let's reset the password for each user to log into his account. Type zip password, username, then the new password. I'm just gonna set the password the same as the username. Now let's log into the service on port 110. Here we need to use dash uppercase C to add a line break or line ending every time we send something otherwise it will just hang like that. Type uppercase user and the name of the user. Then uppercase pass then the password you reset. Our case list to list all emails for this user. And it seems like this user doesn't have any emails. Let's log in with the user John. John has one message, let's read it. Type uppercase RETR for retrieve and the message number. It looks like Mindy has access to the server. Let's check Mindy's account. And she has two messages. The first one looks like a welcome message. The second one has SH credentials for Mindy. Awesome. Now let's SH to her account. And here's our first flag. Now the issue here is that we can't do much with this restricted bash shell. For example, we can change directories or execute specific commands. Fortunately, we can execute a command once we sh to the server, so let's spawn a full bash shell with python. Make sure to escape the double quotes here with backslashes. Great, we have full x now. But this shell lacks a lot of things, like no auto tap completion, so we need to export a term environment variable to this shell. So, Ctrl and Z to foreground this shell, STTY raw minus echo to export all keyboard shortcuts, then type FG and enter to return the shell. Note here when you type FG, it won't appear on the screen, but it will still be written. And finally, export a term environment variable. Now we have a fully upgraded shell. Upon navigating to the op directory, you will find a Python script that is readable and writable by all users, and it's owned by the root user. This script cleans the temp directory. Pretty sure that this script is run by a cron job. Now let's use netcat to get a reverse shell. Netcat has the dash e option to specify a binary to execute upon connecting to a port. So let's execute bin bash. ifconfig to get your local IP address 
If you don't have ifconfig installed, you can install with sudo apt-get install net tools. nc-e to execute bin bash and your local IB address and a port to connect to. Now on your local machine, set a netcat listener on the port you specified. Wait for it. And we have a root shell. And here's the root flag. I hope you guys enjoyed this machine and learned something new from it. Leave a like if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.